Kanye West was set to release Donda 2 on 2-22-22, February 22nd if I lost any of y'all. Now generally when someone sets a release date for their album, their fan base will be anticipating, well, their album. But no, 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 not when you're a Kanye fan. See, when you're a real Kanye fan, release dates, they don't mean anything to you. Oh, that stream starts at 8, I'll be there at 12. The only time Kanye is on time is to release his clothes and his sneakers, and that's it. So hearing that Donda 2 was releasing on the 22nd, I, of course, thought the same. And when it was also announced that it would be only available on his stem player, I almost budged. But nah, I know Ye. And if I know Ye like I know Ye, he's nowhere near done with the album. And who would want to pay $200 for a stem player to get an unfinished album? Well, apparently a lot of people did. As Kanye claimed that on the first day, he made over $2.2 million cash. And honestly, 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 that is fucking amazing. Genuinely, I really do feel like that shit is amazing. How he can have the money go directly to him. And you gotta love the fact that Kanye said fuck the labels and did it on his own. It's really a genius way to sell... His stem player, yes, his stem player. Kanye basically used his Donda 2 album as a promotional tool to sell his stem player. I know what you're probably thinking. Oh, the stem player is innovative. I would have bought it without the album. Oh my God. Well, the stem player was released in August of last year and no one was really buying them the way that they are now. So yeah, it's a cool tool. It's a dope new way to listen to music and I really do believe that it's a super dope product and it is innovative, but the fact that people flock to buy it right now is just because the Donda 2 album was attached to it. And the fact that people got an unfinished version of that album is a tragedy. Now I know eventually they will upload the complete album on there, and I know some fans like to hear the process of the track coming together, but I for one miss when Kanye delivered to us a finished product. Give me the album without all the mumbling, please. <laughs> the real definition of mumble rap is here. And what kills me the most is that Donda 2 sounds amazing. It sounds fucking hard. And I can't wait to hear the complete album. I wanna hear it finished. But let's be real, y'all. He sent these uncomplete songs out just to get y'all to spend $200 on that stem player. So in conclusion, Kanye West yet again proves to us that he is a genius. Donda 2 so far sounds like it's gonna be amazing and I can't wait to hear the finished album. And also the stem player is an innovative tool, but it needed that Donda 2 to promote it correctly. <laughs> But yeah, let me know what y'all think. Did you guys buy the stem player? If you did, how do you feel about it? Did you buy it before Donda 2 was announced? Or did you buy it after the album was announced? Also, what do you guys think about Donda 2 so far? I know a lot of us heard it at the release concert. I thought it sounded hard so far. But y'all let me know what y'all think. And also, do you agree with me that Kanye used Donda 2 to sell the damn stem player? Let me know in the comments, man. Shout out to all the yo yas on the east side. It's your boy KD. Make sure you like the video. Subscribe to the channel. I'm out of here.